All right, guys, Kazoo71 here on Ark Survival Ascended. This is the island on my kind of island playthrough I've been doing um, gradually here and there. So just want to show you guys what I was doing. So there's a lot of different pieces and stuff in the game. This was recorded around December. So the way things work and stuff is what I mean by there's a lot of different things. So what I'm doing is trying to organize. I don't know if I gave you guys a base tour or not yet. I will if I haven't done so. I thought I did. I think I did on previous one of these ones. So what I want to do is show you guys, I'm just kind of moving things for now. Eventually what I'll do is I'll set up like vaults and stuff like that. But I've been kind of organizing, trying to change things around. This was recorded in December when the uh, Winter Wonderland event was out. And also at the same time, there was a, I was on the old computer, my computer that had all these sound glitches. So I lost a lot of stuff. I had to get rid of a lot of videos. Just didn't want to share things that looked really bad. So... I wanted to leave this first part in here just show you guys some of the painting and how things work now um i'm using paint brushes at the top it says apply dye coloring regions i don't think i think i tried this just so you guys know without the paint brushes it doesn't work you gotta have a paint brush to access the inventory of a structure to be able to paint it um just like yourself so one's a right click of the mouse one's a left click of the mouse and on PlayStation and um, Xbox, it'd be different keys like the triggers or something like that. Anyhow, so once you have these, as you can see what I just did on this one. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of them just so you see. And by the way, today is the um, what fifth or sixth of July. So for the fourth of July, they came out with their summer bash or somewhere around there around the third. And what they did was they have the sparkler skin. So thank God. So um, I got on my center map yesterday and pulled up the sparkler skins did a little holiday video and i'm gonna jump on the island today just for a couple of minutes and make sure i get a bunch of sparklers i'm gonna just craft a whole bunch of them and then i'm gonna get on my scorched earth when i do the same get as many sparkler skins as i have before they turn the event off now the events are um or mods so i think you on single players can turn them on and off whenever you want. I'm not sure if it works like that. I'm going to keep the summer event on for a while and see if it works. We're going to go past the 17th, but that's when it's supposed to stop. And we'll see if it works. I think on official and stuff, they turn them on and off. But on um, single player, you can put them on whenever you want. So that is the cool thing about having the events as a mod. The sad thing about it is they don't auto turn them on. you got to turn them on yourself. But that's not so bad. It ain't that difficult to put a mod on and turn it on. So anyhow, just showing you guys a couple of boxes. Just give you an idea how it works. There's different um, pieces. Before, there was only three slots on the large storage box. As you can see, there are six. Six. Uh, and the buttons. I'm going to change the buttons. So there you go. The hinges, not buttons. They're like hinges and handles and stuff like that. So anyway, we're not going to do all that stuff. I'm just going to show you. I just want to show you guys a little bit. So going forward, um, flying around. Like I said, graphics are turned down a little bit because I'm on the other computer I had that was supposed to be able to handle this. And as you guys know, if you listen to any of my videos, I figured out that the uh, graphics card in a laptop is not the same as a graphic card in a desktop. So I'm using a desktop now. So the 490, the NVIDIA GeForce 490, RTX 490 is way different than the mobile one that goes inside of the uh, laptops. So I'm carrying a thylo back, guys. This is a level 70. I want to use this in some of the caves. As you can see, it is tearing my bird up. These things didn't do that before. They would hit you every now and then, but with the bleed effect they put on them and on um, Ark Survival Ascended, they really changed this, man. So you can't carry stuff like you could before. They already tweaked it and nerfed it a lot, but man, now I cannot carry a thylo back for far. So my goal was to get it out of the redwood so I knew where it was. I hadn't set up a trap yet. That's my plan was to set up a trap. I have everything I have. And what I mean by trap is four foundations and eight um, walls that I'll set up as door frames. Not double door frames, single door frames. That way you can shoot through them. So what you do is you just set it up like that. Four, and I'll show you guys in a minute. Four, and you s put the pieces around. Now, on Ark Survival Evolve, you needed to do the same trap. You needed four foundations and you needed... Four, six, eight, sixteen door frames. On this one, you need four foundations and eight wall slash door frames because you know they're interchangeable. So, just trying to find a spot close by. There's a Rex right there, so I'm gonna kill this Rex because I want this area and I want its prime meat because the Thylacolia. I'm gonna feed it the prime meat now. If you guys don't know, Thylos are still the same in Ark Survival Evolved. I mean, Ark Survival Center as they were evolved. 
they prefer cooked prime meat over prime meat and they prefer cooked mutton over mutton so um if you're gonna do that those are the best the best things the kibble for sure i think it's the extraordinary kibble i can't remember exactly which one then the cooked mutton then the cooked prime meat then the raw mutton then the raw prime meat that's the order of them so i've tamed so many of them it's just pathetic now thylos just so you know or um their torpidity goes down really quick if you don't know so they need to be narked quite a bit now i have my settings up a little bit so for some reason um i don't know i'm happy where they are uh it doesn't take me long to to tame stuff and i'm not having to use as many narks now i still would have two on a giga and stuff like that so um rex's never had to use narks on um but the uh this is the awesome spyglass by the way that i'm looking through but the thylacolio you always had to the thylos are really bad about it and the therizinosaurs those are two things that i tame constantly that um do have a fast drop in torpidity so um as you can see i just set up a little ramp and i had a goof there so i'm gonna pull that out i wouldn't want them to get in there and out and my goal here was to set this up and see if i can get the baryonyx in it now with the traps as i've shown you guys and many other youtubers have that the traps don't work as much as they used to because wildcard did some coding changes on the dinos and did like a smart um some smart ai thing or something i don't know where they walk around structures so instead of trying to walk over a structure they walk around it so um it's kind of funny um it's kind of look at that how did that look at that stupid thing snapped in the ground like that look at that there's even you know, so right there look at that it snapped in the ground off the bottom of the other one into the ground so i have obstructions off so obstructions you can go in the ground uh, if you haven't seen that yet i have a video out on that it's real simple to turn on and off it's pretty much the same on arc survival ascended as it was on arc survival evolved um, if you watch any of my stuff i call them um, ase and asa a lot in my in my wording just to make it simple so excuse me but arc survival ascended is if you haven't heard me say it before or anybody else say it, it's the same game guys it's just they change some some things in the build some of the way things look they changed the way a couple of things work they did some tlc's basically is what they did a bunch of tlc's made the graphics way higher and um that's pretty much it a lot of people complain about it i don't complain about it so much i do mention things when i do realize there's things wrong but there are a lot of things that they they did it's actually pretty good it's just i'll be honest with you guys like um i've been playing arc for since 2016 came out in 15 and played with my girls for a while then i played by myself for forever then i opened some servers up and got some people on there playing on my servers a little bit and then they uh started playing with someone else because i'm not on all the time on another server and i eh, pretty much don't play with anybody anymore because people don't get on as much so it's just how it is people are all over the place people don't have the same times as they do look at that actually i shot this guy a whole bunch it took me three times to knock him out so oh, stupid bugs anyway so it's real fun to play with people but the time frames man i don't know i got a full-time job and everything and and i don't get time to do this and um I've been playing Ark Survival Evolved and now the Ark Survival Ascended has been out since October for, for so many years now that, uh, I mean, I'm not tired of it or hate the game. Um, I love the game. Don't get me wrong. I, I love Ark. still my favorite game, but I just don't play it as much as I used to. I would like to play other games and rotate around and do different things sometimes. But some people I know, they just, all they do is play Ark, which is cool. But I was like that in, in the beginning, man. All I did was play Ark for years um minecraft a little bit and arc I'm going on my little rants here sorry about that guys but uh, anyway so so when people play on other you know play on my servers we would play together and we do some stuff but i had so many people join like when i first did them i did servers and i need prime fish meat by the way for the baryonyx that's what i'm doing and people would join we play they play for a little bit and then they get bored they build a whole base and then they would go man and never play again it was funny um i probably had like 10 people join my server that did that they were just build up a whole base do everything chat with you for a little while and and then they would just go on to somewhere else so now one of the comments i made with somebody else i was just talking to it's on one of my servers what the heck are you running from dude where are you running from what is that the raptor where are you 
Um, anyway, I was making a comment to him like uh, one of the cool things that I like this, and a couple of players that I still play with that um, one of them she's in my tribe. I just make comments about this. This is important. One of the things I like about survival games is starting out. Um, I like the struggle it is to start, how many times you die when you're trying to get things to build up. That's what's really the most fun for me. Look at that big old saber right there. That's what I want. I need a big one. Um, anyway, that's the fun part. So starting over and over again. So I understand why people jump around so much is because you know, you want to start new, you want to start fresh. But once you build it all up and you get to a certain point, sometimes it gets boring. So. This is how I am, man. I get bored sometimes, so I gotta switch to other games. So the way I keep ARK exciting for me is I play ARK, and then I'll take a break, play something else for a little while, and then come back to ARK. I still play it every week, though. That's just, that's just how it is. I'm always on ARK. So... <laughs> that's how you know it's my favorite game. I got almost 7,000 hours on ARK, so... And that's with a full-time job. So with the Baryonyx now... um. I'm sorry, I'm talking about myself here a little bit. Sorry about that, guys, this morning. <laughs> and then surfers and stuff and playing with other people. But uh, with the Baryonyx, you need prime fish meat is the best thing if you don't have kibble, which I don't have kibble yet because this is still early on. Game came out in December, I mean in October, and this was December. So this was the only official map out at the time and when I recorded this part. So look at this big old saber. That's what you want right there, one of these big giant ones. I want this prime fish meat. Give me that prime fish. So, yeah, I don't understand though why I was yelling there. What was I hitting myself? <laughs> what, the only way to get prime fish meat in these rivers and stuff is the giant saber tooth. That's it. The saber tooth salmon, the big, big ones you need. You know, the little ones won't do it. You got to find the big, big ones. They will give you prime fish meat. Now, if you're out in the ocean, um, I know the megalodons give you prime fish meat. I'm pretty sure that is. Um, the alpha megalodon, but you gotta harvest them. Just so you know, if you guys haven't seen that before, I use a ba Bacillosaurus or a basil, I call it, all the time in the ocean. It's my favorite mount. When you eat stuff with the basil, you don't get prime fish meat. You gotta actually get off your mount and pull out your hatchet and whack away at that megalodon to get prime fish meat. That's just how it works. It's weird. But megalodons give you the most prime fish meat out in the ocean, and the saber tooth salmon give you the most in the river, so... Other stuff out there, I don't know. You can get prime meat from the uh, killing the plazies, but you don't need prime meat out in the ocean. Unless you're taming a Bacillosaurus, you could use prime meat for that. But really, I don't know. I'm, yad I'm yakking away here this morning. Sorry, guys. I've got a lot of energy this morning. Um, Sunday morning, or Saturday morning here. Four-day weekend. So, um, <laughs> One of the things I was like thinking about as I was saying that, like, when I was taming stuff in the ocean, man, what uses prime fish meat? What, do you, what does anybody really tame with prime fish meat besides a, a baryonyx? You can tame a megalodon with prime fish meat. They prefer that. I gotta kill this theory. He's getting too close. He's level 90. Get him out of here. I've been watching him the whole time. I don't know if you guys kept seeing. I kept glancing back. Uh, the thing you see me highlighting on the left side, that's the awesome spyglass I'm using. One of the mods, my favorite mods. Keeping track of what's going on around me. There is a zoom on that thing that really annoys me to no end. You can turn that zoom off. I did a video on that. Um... Back in December or January, I can't remember when I did that. I showcased the mod a little bit and was showing you guys how to turn that off. I, Yeah, I think it's R's the wheel. R's kind of the wheel for all the mods. So if you're using a mod and you're trying to figure out, hey, where's the wheel for the settings, try R. Hold down R and see what happens. And a lot of times that'll bring up a, a radio wheel and you can pick the mod. Like if you have two or three mods, it'll give you the choice of which mod you want to go to. So um, force feeding the meat. Back to the meat, the prime fish meat and all that stuff. Like I said, even the dolphins and stuff, like uh, in the ocean, if you're taming a dolphin, they like regular meat, right? So you're going to use prime meat. If you're taming the Bacillosaurus, regular meat or prime meat. None of those are fish meat. The only thing I really think is fish meat is this guy here. Um, and the Megalodon. That's it. Uh, maybe the new fish that they just added that uh, it looks like a tarpon. It starts with an X, man. The things are annoying. Those things are so annoying to tame. I've tamed several of them, but they're annoying. And I ride them around. They're really, 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 really weak. 
So just so you know, in a pack of them, they will shred you to pieces if they're wild. But by themselves, I had two of them, and I tried to fight a couple of other ones, and they I got shredded, man. Here's what they're good for. They are the fastest thing in the ocean now. They can outrun that dolphin. Them things can fly, and they have super stamina. So it's like being on an iguanodon on the land, but it's it's, a, it's the ocean version of that. That thing can go, man. You can outrun anything. Well, let me rephrase that. I have not tried to outrun an alpha megalodon yet, but that I'm going to try that. I'm going to do a video on that just to test it out. I'm going to find the alpha meg and see if I can outrun them. I have one of these on the center. I haven't got one on here yet. And I plan on doing all that stuff. I'm going to do all that stuff, man. I'm going to tame everything. I'm going to do all the caves. and I just, I just, man, I don't have the energy for it. So, yeah. I've been doing so many. And these, there's a tame, tame berry ox. I mean, and doing these videos takes so much time sometimes. And then uh, you just kind of get, you get burned sometimes. Look at my clothes. This is one of the cool things I like about Ark Survival Ascended is, you can see I died. I'm dropping the thing. I died a while ago. Um, I'm dropping your clothes gets all dirty when it gets worn out and stuff. So it looks pretty cool. Here's when I figured out the cryopod sucked. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I was going to ditch whatever I had and use to carry the baryonics, but you can't drop a cryopod unless you have a cryo fridge. It's so stupid, man. You got to use a mod to do that stuff. If you want the cryopods like they used to be, I put a video out on how to fix it with the mod. That's the only way you can do it. You're going to have to use a mod. Because Wildcard is not giving us the option to turn that crap off. I wish they had a checkbox where you could check it off um, in settings. They might they might add that later, but right now, man, I don't know. I haven't gone into settings to see. But uh, here we go, guys. I'm going to leave it here. Sorry I was yakking a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you got any comments, please make them. And next time we'll get that Thilo. See you next time.